And uh, it looks like your August Reds actually repair the 99. He's back out there. I was speaking to him in the pitch just a little bit earlier, Brendo, and they had the welder to the car and they're ready to go. But this is the feature race. This is where they all let it hang out. So ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the stuck car action. So lights go green, we're away. Oh, Bear's the first one into it. Dives down on the inside, gives a shot to McEwen. Man, where's that pace been all night? It's where he's just been using quarter throttle. I spoke to Bear as well, and he was just upset that everything was going wrong. Oh, no! Now McEwen! <laughs> They're locked together. Really? McEwen's gone from first to last there. Oh, really Bears, Bears oh. trying to take out 09 on the on the corner number two. Oh, August Reed, the 99's gone as well. Moved it onto the infield. It's all happening. Find yourself a tyre and stand behind it. Aaron Edge now your leader in the 09. The Ragahuna's back in the action again. Go in the outside of the 10 of Smith. Go on the outside, it's pretty keen in stock car racing. You're closer to the wall that way, aren't you, Brendo? And Smurfs are going to get put down another place there. They slide back to fourth now as the team comes out front. It's the 08 the 09 of Edge and Ragahuna. Ragahuna doing a great job. He's, he was out in front, made a mock of turn two, and he's now working his way back. Now, Brendo, I'm not exactly sure how it works in stock cars, but do you have team orders, you reckon? I don't think so. I think the team order is to shove him out of the way as McEwen shoves the 62 out of the way to find his way back into third spot after being on the infield on lap one. McEwen's fast right now. McEwen might just be able to catch both these guys. I wouldn't be surprised if he does. The man on a mission carrying so much speed into the corner. Oh, it's the 09's hit the wall. He slammed the wall come out in turn number two. And it's costing the race lead. He might lose more. McEwen's on his bumper now. Let's see what happens in the turn one this time, Brendo. Watch McEwen as he comes into turn one. He tries to stick the nose underneath of edge. Can't do it this time. Oh, he's going to spin around. Parked in the middle of the racetrack. Hopefully he can get the thing fired up. As they're all going at it in turns three and four. The 99 of Red still struggling, but our battle is between. Oh, we've got a fire over there. No, they've got the thing fired. The red light's gone back off. Just a bit of overrun on the 09s. He's trying to get a fire, but McEwen's now taking the lead amongst all that. So Ragahuna now got some work to do to catch the 84 of McEwen. Lightning fast out here tonight. McEwen was the man on the mission, went to the rear of the field, spun into the infield, and it's now in the lead of this race. How about Edge just before? Leading the race, slaps the wall, turns it around, now it's two laps down in the space of a lap. <laughs> That's just how it goes in stock cars. So these two still trying to settle it out. If some lap traffic comes into play here, you still might find this another page in the book. Still all to play for. We're dropping like flyers out here though, Brendo. We've got a couple of cars in the infield. Oh no, don't worry, we're back going again. We're racing it once more. How good are stock cars, folks? Never say die. That's Edge still battling it out. If he wasn't two laps down, he'd be in third spot right now. Nick Ewan still leading this one. They've been surprisingly well behaved, Brendo. I don't know what's going on. They certainly have. I think we need to throw a competition red. What do you reckon? So go through one and two once more. The 11 car this time does retire to the infield. Lap's still ticking by. Not much change in the, the gap from first to second.
a lot of gap from our stock cars here. Normally race at a much smaller showgrounds venue. The battle's still on between the 10 and 15 though. Here oh, we go. Down the inside. Here we go. The 15 rotates the 10 in turn one. Was that accidental? No. <laughs> That's stock cars, baby. So the white flag now being shown. The Q and Strumman, a great race. After being forced on the infield on the first lap, he'll take the chequered flag. Karina will get home for second. Then I couldn't tell you. I'm thinking to be the 62 of Luke Hoskin actually. Hasn't been spun around. The 15 of Sean Knight. But stock cars for the first time in a long time here at Karina. Oh, and Rick Ahuna with some gestures out the window. I hope it's a thumbs up. I think it is. So, yeah, a little bit of controversy up here. Seeing he didn't pass the loop in 84, he's actually down a lap. Ah, interesting. So... We're getting verification. <laughs> he is our winner, but he is skirted on the infield. I'm not sure. We might have to get someone from the club to make that point. I don't know. I don't think, I don't think the stock cars had road, uh, what is it, track limits? No, and they don't normally run transponders, I don't think. So there I don't normally think that's a that's an issue. So, so I'd say... He will be the winner. Yeah, uh, all's fair in love and war. I guess you could drive through the infield if he you really wanted he definitely, to. He definitely <laughs> was the uh, fastest on the track all night, and he's done a fantastic job. So give him a round of applause, folks. Hopefully we are giving you the right winner around the track. As he comes around, turns three and four.